what I'm talking about. Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web, and I've got a new one. Thank you, Pyramid Air, for sending this to me. This is the Air Arms TX200HC, that's Hunter Carbine. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I got this one upon request of one of my viewers. He asked me if I've ever checked out a higher end Springer. So this is what I wanted and this is what I got from Pyramid Air. So guys, this is the TX200HC. The HC stands for Hunter Carbine. It's a little smaller than the normal one is. I gotta give it to Air Arms. They do a fantastic job. When I first opened the box, I was just in awe of the beauty of this gun. It is so pretty. The um, fish scale stempling along with the um, little plant designs on the outside of it. The beautiful stock. I think this is a beach stock. And the bluing of the barrel and the action, it's just gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It has that classic rifle style with a lot of detail. It's got the um, rubber butt plate for comfort. Now, one thing about this is, is it is not ambidextrous. You need to order it left or right. This one is a right-handed gun. But if you are a left-hander, they have them available too, and your friend wants to shoot it, you just tell them to adjust or get their own. So. This is an under lever action, which means the barrel is absolutely 100% stable. It does not move, which accounts for better accuracy. It has an 11 millimeter dovetail rail. It's no open sights, so you must have an optic, some sort of an optic on there. The, the scope that I have mounted on here is the Hawk Vantage. This one is four to 16 by 50. It's got the mill dot reticle. It also has the illuminated option. You can have red or green illuminated crosshairs. It has the elevation and the windage turret, which they are locking. You do not need extra tools like a screwdriver to adjust your sights. You pull up on it, push it back down. You pull up on it, turn it however many clicks you need to, and then you push it back down. And it also has the side parallax. It's an automatic safety. The safety does not engage unless the gun is cocked. It also has a bear trap safety. When you cock this gun, you pull it down and you'll hear it click three times. These teeth right here will actually lock in place when you cock it to keep this from the bear trap from closing on your finger. That is um, super, super kind of air arms to make that extra safe step right there. Um, I would like to keep my fingers, <laughs> so that's super cool. Let's take it out to the range and see what it does there. Okay, so normally I would start at a shorter distance, guys, but I already checked it out at 25 yards in my unboxing and to the range video. You guys can check that out on my backyard shooting channel. Me and the boys took the gun out. It's just a short little, let's see what this thing can do. Get to know the Air Arms TX200. And we shot it at 25 yards and it's pretty dang sweet. So we sighted it in there, shooting beautifully. I decided to start at 40 yards for this video. Before I turned the cameras on, I shot a five shot group at 43 yards. And oh my, it was absolutely beautiful. I would say it was probably smaller than a dime. But I put my sticker targets over it and was ready to turn the cameras on and show you guys what she can do. And the first group I was extremely unhappy with. That is not what it just showed me. So what I realized was it was probably the pressure of the camera because I know you guys are watching. I decided to take a deep breath and just relax and check out what she did next. 879 
876. Now the two shots before the last shot, I realized that I was actually had picked a different point of aim. That's why those two pellets dropped down low. I went back to my original point of aim and it was right there with the rest of the shot group. 869. I'm pretty impressed. So those two low ones, those are my fault. <laughs> The velocity, max velocity, and it's probably with an alloy pellet that Air Arms claims is 960 feet per second. That's definitely a small game hunter. Squirrels, rats, birds, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, it should be able to take them and it's accurate enough for perfect headshots. Okay, so let's move on to the trigger pull. All Air Arms guns that I've ever shot have an immaculate trigger. I've never shot one that had a trigger that was too heavy or too light. Well, maybe I should take that back. They do tend to have triggers that I go, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Meaning I pulled the trigger too early. 9.1 ounces. This one's getting between 9 and 10 ounces of trigger pull, which is so sweet. I love the triggers on Air Arms. Ounces. They are two-stage and they are adjustable. So if you want it a little heavier or a little lighter, there's room to play with. You guys can do that. For me, it's absolutely perfect where it's at. Twenty-five yards. So like I said before, it is an under lever action and it is a single shot. There is no mag. This is definitely a single shot. You cock the gun, you place your pellet in the breech right here behind the bear trap. The barrel is a rifled Lothar Walther barrel. Definitely good quality barrels there. That's just gorgeous. The cocking effort is 34 pounds. So it does take it does take some guns to cock it, but it's not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker at all. No, oh, I pulled that one. That was all me, guys. It's not bad at all. Let me shoot offhand on paper. I'm gonna get some other targets and shoot offhand because I know there's some of you out there that get tired of me sitting at this table. Hmm? Not bad. Oh, I guess not bad. I thought that oh, I thought it was going to be a a whole lot worse than it was. Oh, that one! I think I pulled it way low, way way low. And my results are yes, it's definitely a good freehand shooter. There we go. That was a bullseye. The balance of the gun is perfect. When a gun is a little heavy, but the balance is right. It makes up the difference and it's not really that hard to offhand shoot. Again, Air Arms, fantastic job. Where did that hit? I'm not sure. I have to watch the video. Some guns, guys, are a lot of fun to check out. Some guns are a lot of fun to review, especially when they exceed your expectations. Yes, I do have high expectations for Air Arms. They are a great company and they make great products. I have not ever checked out a high-end um, Springer. This is my very first time checking out a high-end Springer, so I really was not sure what to expect. And so maybe I didn't have any expectations in the first place, but I am definitely pleased, definitely pleasantly surprised at the accuracy that I got at 43 yards. That's it for today, guys. I'm Airgun Angie. This is the Air Arms TX 200 HC from Pyramid Air. Thank y'all so much for sending it to me. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm not done yet. I've got some more shooting to do. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. I am going to take this back further to see what the max distance is that I can get good shot groups. That would be able to either just take out a target or take out a squirrel. Ow. There we go. Stop sign, hopefully, going down. Oh. Missed it. All right, second attempt. Oh, got it. 
super sweet.